Hello learners and welcome to part 5 of this uh, series which we're doing on why to choose event management as a career. In this session, we will talk about the evolvement of the new age uh, forms of uh, event management uh, which have come into play over the last few years, especially political events, uh, art events, intellectual properties, luxury events, mice and others. In our previous editions, we spoke about what is event management, how event management is different from the other career options that are available in the media and communication business. We also spoke about what are the various uh, needs of being uh, an event manager and what are the skill sets required to be successful in event management. We also spoke about the various options available in general event management category and specialized categories of events, including personal events, social events, uh, and uh, production operations, logistics, uh, business management, as well as content management of events. So let's dive deep into today's session and talk a little more about the new age careers that have evolved in the business of event management. So here we go with our presentation. So in the last uh, session, if you remember, we spoke about security and operations and logistics and power, which were critical uh, but unseen parts of the business. Similarly, managing the access to the venue, uh, be it for equipment, be it for people, be it for technicians, be it for labor, uh, artists, performers, and so on and so forth, and more importantly, for the audience to come in is a unique management role within the event management space. So ticketing and access managers basically look after the entire process of getting people to access the venue. Now, if it's a free show, uh, all that people would need is an invite but to check and ensure that the right people are entering and we are having some filters to ensure unwanted people don't enter the event becomes a integral part of ticket and access management. Also, in the case of paid concerts or paid conferences, the ticketing and access manager plays a very critical responsibility to ensure that every revenue that could have been earned from a potential visitor is accounted for and therefore no freebie or no unwanted person enters the venue. So there are various ticketing softwares available which need to be learned by a ticket and access manager. Uh, also setting up the MIS or the management information software to run an application of ticketing and control a team of people both online and offline and uh, liaison with them to ensure that uh, A, the people who are buying tickets are make, getting the tickets in the correct way that they're supposed to ensuring that redemption of tickets which happens in the form of checking or in the form of uh, exchange for a band or a voucher which allows you to enter the venue is also well ordained and coordinated post the event tabulating and ensuring that all the tickets collected tally with the number of people that walked into the venue and therefore nobody went in without you know being a valid subscriber to the show again becomes a responsible ticket access manager there are lots of companies that have made ticketing they are bread and butter so whether you look at paytm insider or whether you look at book my show or whether you look at clicktickets.com these are agencies today whose entire business model has been driven by you know being able to manage tickets for events for event managers so again a very valid career to get into if you're looking at operations and logistics as your strength to do events Artist management is again a very unique profession within the career space of event management. These are people who manage performers. So whether it's a, a clown, whether it's a, a birthday party doll, whether it's a major celebrity like you know a, a great singer or a great actor, today artist managers play a very specialized role and they are not like those glorified secretaries that you saw in the movies who carry a wallet under their arm. Today, artist managers are redefining how artists are being seen by their fans, are being perceived by brands, and how clients could interact and use them to leverage their uh, talent and their skill set to sell concepts, to sell stories, 
to sell brandware in the market. So whether you see today AR Rahman or today if you see a Shah Rukh Khan selling a Tag Heuer watch, uh, it is primarily because there is an artist manager working in the backstage, trying to orchestrate this deal with the brand, trying to manage the business, trying to ensure that Shah Rukh Khan is seen the way his fans would love to see him. And therefore, when he endorses that watch, uh, it kind of augurs well in the mind of the fan to say that I also want to be like Shah Rukh and I also want to own a Tag Heuer watch. So this is how the correlation between brands and uh, celebrities work in the space of artist management. In the case of stage performances, artists manage managers today work tirelessly to produce a spectacle which not only just focuses on the singing ability or the performing ability of the artist, but it also focuses on the visual presentation of the artist. So it is not about I go on stage and I sing because I sing well. It's about how I create a spectacle along with my singing, which makes the fan believe that what he saw live is a memory that he will take back forever and which makes him want to come back every single time uh, there is a show by the artist. So what conventionally music is done on a music video or for that matter on a recording label, which you listen on an audio system. What happens in a live event is that variations are brought into the music. The visual presentation is different. Uh, there is a lot of drama that is built around or storytelling that is built around the song that the artist is singing, thereby enabling the artist to showcase a range of emotions which enable people to enjoy the performance even more. So I'm going to run a video again uh, and show you how an artist manager actually uh, enhances the whole spectacle. <laughs> AR Rahman in Dubai gets us on a seat in the audience and then walks through the audience as fans cheer him and he walks onto the stage for his performance. And that's how he gets on stage. With dancers, with presenters, with backing vocals, with SFX, the artist manager again evolves the performance of an artist and helps him bring out his song in a different way onto the stage, thus enabling a more spectacular, spectacular visual treat, uh, which wouldn't have happened if it was just a plain performance of stage. So you see different genres of artists today, whether it's classical performers or uh, playback singers or performing with stage and playing in the See how the audience is being engaged here. Now this kind of goosebump feeling can only be brought in if the artist actually evolves and this kind of evolution is what a doctrine which is done by the artist. So whether it is social media presence, whether it is stage presence, whether it is how the artist uh, requirements are put into place all comes from an artist So, as I said, uh, it's not today about talent, but it's also about talent representation. And this kind of uh, dramatic life of artists, which you see on television or on uh, live events today, uh, there are a lot of minds and people that work behind it. And one of them is the artist manager. Exhibitions, as I said in our first um, episode of this uh, series of sessions that we have done, 
was about saying that it's one of the largest industries. It's in fact bigger than the event management industry and one of the oldest industries that have been present in the Indian communication business, uh, along with advertising and print and uh, television and radio. The exhibition management business or the exhibition organizing business is as old as time itself. If you look at the markets of Greece, which actually hosted uh, a weekly bazaar where people came together from different parts of the world and actually sold spices and olives and other things. Today's exhibition business is much more evolved. It's about showcasing products. It's about putting them in an interesting way to customers. It's about getting an industrial segment together, whether it's a B2B or a B2C exhibition where products can be sold in a marketplace in spite of having competition around you to multiple visitors and thereby you can solicit business which you couldn't conventionally do in your own showroom, in your own shop or in your own factory where you, wherever you would be in whichever part of the world. So the whole concept of putting exhibitions together today is a different science altogether. It's about engagement, it's about experiences, it's about getting footfalls and number of people who are like-minded, who are target audiences and who are potential buyers to meet potential sellers. So uh, the game about exhibition organizing today is about bringing the buyer and seller together in an environment which is conducive to conducting business, which is conducive to having one-on-ones, which is conducive to be able to connect with each other, see, touch, feel, understand products and therefore uh, generate a buy-in for both the buyer and the seller. Let's look at uh, one of the events that I did. This is the third largest exhibition in the world uh, called the Blast India exhibition. This was held in Gujarat in Ahmedabad in 2018 and it showcases what an exhibition actually means. So allocating spaces, uh, ensuring footfalls, safety of people, uh, proper displays, creating interesting engagements for people to come together uh, both during the show and post-show. Having interesting uh, interactions with audiences who come to the event. Getting the organizers to interact with visitors and exhibitors to showcase uh, what happened during the day. Uh, bringing interesting concepts into the exhibition uh, which would engage with visitors and tell them about the various aspects and facets of the exhibition. Ensuring that there's enough branding and colorful spectacles to make the audience more and more uh, excited about the exhibition is what typically an exhibition organizer does. Market activation and ambient experiential engagement. Now a lot of out of home activation is happening in the business today. Originally this used to be known as sales promotion. Uh, people would set up a shop in shop or probably employ you know, a human promoter who would stand outside a shop with a small kiosk and sell soap or sell detergent to busy ladies who would come to the marketplace to buy their groceries and vegetables. Now, gone are the days of that kind of interaction. Today, it's all about getting the audience to buy into the brand. So it's more flamboyant. It's more colorful. It's more about saying that uh, we want to be in spaces or ambient uh, engagements where the audience least expects us to be. Malls today are a new buzzword and uh, a lot of brands are today looking at traffic that comes into malls and creating engagement opportunities which are interesting by bringing fans, by bringing celebrities to come together, by getting brands to work with uh, celebrities to actually engage buyers live uh, on the shop floor and making them understand that this is how you could actually buy into the product because the celebrity is actually endorsing it there. So uh, instead of having a human promoter today, it's a celebrity who's actually standing there and saying, buy this t-shirt or buy this shoe or buy this cap because it's interesting. So here I'm going to run a video of YouTube FanFest, which actually brings in social influencers who are a huge draw for the youth today and engaging them with the youth, which has come to the mall for a fun evening out. So take a look at this video of the YouTube FanFest.
again done by an agency called Laksha Live Experiences from Mumbai. So this was across 63 uh, creators, uh, more than 57 acts, two cities in India. So all the influencers that you would probably want to meet were on the stage connecting with your fans and this gave a unique opportunity for YouTube to promote its influencers and thereby increase traffic uh, online on your streaming platform. For the fans, the opportunity to engage with their influencers in flesh and blood was again a great opportunity. IPs, we've been talking about this over the last five sessions. Intellectual properties today are the key buzzword as far as businesses are concerned. Uh, today there are virtual IPs, there are on-ground IPs, there are IPs for music, there are IPs for sports, there are IPs for art festivals, and a whole lot of others. Uh, IPs or intellectual properties are today becoming statement creation by event companies where uh, conventionally we would work for clients Today we are working for ourselves, we are creating our own branded properties, ideas that we believe in, ideas that we have dreamt about, ideas that we have incubated and these are like uh, ecosystems of startups of their own which are being bought into or paid for by brands. So today when I create IPs for a particular community, whether it's the youth, whether it is college students, whether it is lovers of jazz music or lovers of classical dance or lovers of Hindustani Carnatic music. I am engaging a community and getting that community to further uh, interact with brands who wants to talk to such kind of people and expose their uh, products or expose their services is becoming a uni unified cohesion or an ecosystem where traditionally we used to talk about sponsorship which was also perceived as a charitable donation. It's no longer that. Today brands are evaluating which IPs are getting what kind of traffic and therefore they're looking at long-term deals uh, to sign up with the IPs with escalation costs year on year and enabling IPs to spend and create more content which would further engage a larger audience and bring in more footfalls and thereby allow the brands to talk to a larger audience. So this kind of curation today is a new buzzword. Uh, it is primarily predominant in the urban markets but it does not stop the rural markets from doing it. So how can you today create your Grammy Mela into an IP or how can you create your Ram Leela into an IP is anybody's calling and how can you involve local brands to invest in those IPs and engage with audiences to talk further and let their brands uh, communicate with them and sell uh, their products to them. So this becomes an effective engagement opportunity when you look at IP curation as a specialized career in events. Let's look at a video uh, to understand how IPs are curated. So this is the piece. We've pioneered new routes and luxury driving experiences through some of India's most challenging roads and terrain. We've invented festivals and properties, not just for brands, but for entire industries. From the Skoda Prize for contemporary Indian art, to India Bike Week, a festival that has helped develop India's premier motorcycle market. We've even built one of the world's most important classic car and bike events, Cartier's Travel with Style. We've invented new ways of connecting drivers and consumers with the cars and bikes that they love. 
We've created and run clubs and communities where brand customers have shared their passions. We've launched cars using the very latest entertainment and technology. We've even pioneered the use of fashion, music, art, and heritage. From single city events to 30 city tours across India. 70 EMG has designed and built award-winning exhibition zones for global brands. And we've created ideas, events, and film that have exploded brands into the digital space. Why are we so good? Well, we just love the business of cars and of bikes. It's in our blood and it's in our soul. And we're looking forward to pushing the boundaries of experience to connecting you with new customers and partners, and finally, to being part of the incredible ride that is India's awesome auto world. So here you saw uh, a showreel of 70 EMG. They're focused on the automotive market to create various IPs, right from three-wheelers, uh, Grand Trunk Run, to bike festivals, to uh, luxury cars, uh, to curation of specific uh, events for communities of car lovers uh, for a particular brand, thus engaging the automotive community, uh, both from the brand perspective and from the user perspective to come together uh, on a global scale. So this is what I mean by IP curation. Sporting events today, I don't need to talk much about it, but there is a huge amount of IPs and sports events that are happening today. Sports management as a subject itself is, an, uh, is a year-long or a two-year-long process that you could learn uh, as a part of your career management in events. Uh, sporting events today are a big thing, not only from uh, bringing the right talent into perspective, but also curating a particular sport and presenting it to a community or to an audience in an interesting manner. A lot of uh, companies today have got together uh, to produce sports which have gone beyond cricket. So whether it's the Pro Kabaddi League or the uh, Indian Hockey League or whether it is the uh, Football League which has come up in the country today, they have actually built a huge fan following for themselves. Of course, globally, uh, besides football, uh, the Formula One is uh, has a huge fan following. The rugby uh, season that happens across the world, again, has a huge fan following. Uh, Olympics as a sport today is an age-old IP which has been there for year on year and every year there is, a, a, a every season, when after every four years when the Olympics happen, uh, brands have got into the Olympics and you know made it a huge success. So being a sport, sporting event specialist and actually running a sports management or a sports event management company is a specialized career that you could look at. Uh, so I'm going to run a video of the Tata Mumbai Marathon, which actually talks about how uh, uh, sports uh, should be viewed at from an event organizing perspective. <laughs> is to bring in uh, the entire city together uh, on a global scale and showcase not only just professional runners but also to bring in local people who have a flavor or a love for running to come together. Now, let's go on to another chapter of the emerging businesses uh, that are evolving in event management. Uh, that is retail events. So uh, retail business in India today is climbing with the amount of consumerism that is uh, growing in India. And uh, today, if you look at malls, 
uh, or if you look at uh, retail spaces, they are more evolved in terms of touch, feel, experience, understand a brand. Even if you go to buy a detergent today, there are interesting ways of how the detergent is displayed in a shop floor. Now, all this comes from understanding how retail activation and retail events work. So a lot of clients are investing today in spending on uh, retail specialized uh, event companies who would actually bring them the right experience for people to come touch, feel, immerse, and experience the brand. Look at the showreel, which talks about how retail events are done. <laughs> Product launches, audience interactions, fashion shows. Dining experiences, parties, sports, interactive presentations, Unique product launches, concerts, food festivals, unique displays of products. Events for you from uh, USA, uh, which brings across the showreel. And they specialize a lot in working with retail brands to present uh, those brands in the marketplace. Uh, in the current times that we see now, a lot of emphasis is also being given to virtual events. Uh, virtual events are not physical events, but they are on a virtual space. So it would mean a virtual stage, a virtual venue, uh, people logging into computers and watching this from the comfort of their home. They will be alone, but the engagement is immersive. The engagement is actually being there. So it's like uh, what you traditionally would see an event on television. Today, it's about seeing it on your smartphone or seeing it on your computer screen and getting involved into it. So you could do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a customer. You could do an interaction with a celebrity. You could actually see a concert on, on your smartphone and talk to your artist as he sings. You could put in a request to him live and tell him to sing your favorite song or say hi to you or even tag you on his social media post and tell you, hey, Mr. X uh, or Miss X, this was a great evening. And I love spending this afternoon or evening with you. And that is uh, what is the power of virtue. So it's all about taking the physical engagement onto a platform where the only barrier between the fan or the visitor or the viewer and the performer or the organizer or the artist is just a computer screen. But that barrier is, is like a thin membrane where the artist actually reaches out to you in various ways through words, through deeds, through visual presentations and thus helps uh, the viewer engage with the uh, brand. And this is what digital events does. So let's quickly look at a showreel of a company which showcases how virtual venues and virtual presentations uh, are today becoming the name of the game in terms of engagement. With our virtual event studio, we can turn your live event into a virtual experience. So people logging in from everywhere. Audience. Thank you for joining everyone. Our immersive solution is a combination of a physical LED wall and floor combined with an augmented reality environment that can be fully customized. In this pre-designed set, you can present your keynote or your PowerPoint and show video content. But I'm not alone here today. Besides the virtual live audience, I've invited two very special guests, Sabine Rademacher, 
marketing. You can bring in presenters and they can talk. And here's Stenko, the creative director of Univate. I got I have questions from the audience. And you can take in questions, do questions? presentations. I'm as Rob here. I have a and question. You're bringing people from the I audience to talk and interact with uh, speakers at the moment. So this and I was is what with how virtual many events can we do this all simultaneously. Uh, we can help. Thank you very much for joining. We hope to see you soon. Stay safe. And this is about digital events. I don't need to introduce this concept to you, but I particularly brought up this video because this is I for India, which was organized by Fountain Ed Events, which brought in some of the leading artists from the world stage onto a virtual screen to uh, raise funds for COVID relief in India. With performances by Shah Rukh Khan. So if you want to see the show, go on to YouTube, they still have the streaming and you can have a look at it. This uh, is a glimpse of what virtual events is all about. Now, moving on, let's talk about public and political events. Public and political events have been around for quite some time. Uh, but I remember our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi going live with his uh, election campaign and creating a holographic image of himself and talking to millions of uh, citizens of the country from a single place. And that is what changed the whole uh, game in India as far as political electioning campaigning was. Uh, the use of technology has been uh, some of the hallmark of his election campaigning that he has done. And very recently, uh, when the Honorable President of the United States of America, Mr. Donald Trump, came to India, there was a massive event done by Viscraft India uh, at the Modera Stadium in Ahmedabad in honor of the President of the United States. Uh, take a look at this uh, quick video, and then we will talk about uh, what political events organizing is all about. So bringing two of the biggest leaders in the business, ensuring the itineraries, management of the entire program from meet and greets uh, to royal welcomes to parades on the streets of uh, Gujarat, looking after the entire entourage, working with the security agencies. And working the logistics together. Namaste. And hello to India. They're putting lakhs and lakhs of people together to watch this Your entire spectacle is an across the world. The world. Is Namaste. Uska matlab bhi. You can see the scale and the magnitude of rallies which could become a potential event opportunity uh, when you're organizing these kind of events. Art and representation of art today is a big form of entertainment in our business. Art today is no longer just art exhibitions, but it's also the form of prose, theater, poetry, which has come into play. Uh, Encompass and community, uh, which is unique art representation body started by the erstwhile Roshan Abbas, who is the MD and founder of Geometry Encompass, uh, created a festival called Spoken, a unique festival or, or a, for co the community of people who love poetry and prose. Uh, this brought together millions of people who were closet poets and uh, closet writers to come together and showcase their talent to a large captive audience. And this is how uh, Spoken went about. Tom Tacketa, 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 Tom Tacketa,
And it had everything that you would possibly imagine from a creative point of view. And if you want to make a movie, this is a great time, 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 this is a great time. ताकि गहरी बातें लिख सके हम दोहरी जिंदगी जीते दिस इज इनक्रेडिबल आई थिंक दिस इज द मोस्ट पीपल आई हैव एवर परफॉर्म फॉर यू द वन हु लाइक्स टू लिसन बिकॉज़ लिसनिंग गिव्स यू रीजंस इनफ टू टॉक लाइफ लिव्स अनदर कर्टेन एंड सडनली इनवोलेंटरी आई डोंट हैव अ स्टैंड एंड आई लाइक इट Talk about life. Talk to strangers, to lovers. Sometimes God. Or bhi gham hai zamane mein mohabbat ke siwa. Rahate or bhi hai basi ki rahat ke siwa. You, the one who unites the world with words. Ha, aap hi, jo kahani mein jeete hain, unse kabhi utte hain, to kabhi unki wajah se gussa ho jate hain. Aap. किसी चीज को कहते हैं ना दिल से चाहते हो तो पूरी कायनात मिलाती है घंटा वट हैपन्स व्हेन वी द पीपल कम टुगेदर एंड प्रोड्यूस द सेम साउंड एट द सेम टाइम विश आई कुड लीव यू माय हार्ट बट माय आईज आर विद यू व्हाट दे से बिगिन विद योर नेम एंड आई सेंड विद योर You guys are just fantastic. It is such a beautiful place to come and perform, and thank you so much. Unique expression of art and representation. Uh, with this, uh, I'd like to take you to luxury events, which basically is all about experiencing. uh the different forms of uh mice as we know today uh, a potential business opportunity and how they have evolved and created uh a unique business uh, model where incentives for companies today has become the new buzzword to promote sales to incentivize their employees to be better and the mice business basically allows the uh, companies to take their staff and give them a unique blended experience of something that uh, at a destination uh, which they wouldn't have otherwise been able to afford or experience here i would like to stop and uh, thank you for joining us today for this session uh, i hope you had a great time and i welcome you with open arms to this business of events uh, thank you for listening in for the last 5 uh, sessions uh, i'm sure i have been able to make a difference and give you an impression of what the business of event management is all about i look forward to seeing you on the other side uh, on a show uh, performing shoulder to shoulder executing an event running that idea and putting it into reality wish you godspeed and god bless always see you soon